how to relate to your personal guru and surrender to him you see this uh, concept of the guru is very important to the indian tradition there is this uh, uh chant which says guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat param brahma tasmai shri gurave namaha which means uh, guru is the creator god guru guru is the protector god guru is the god of destruction and guru is everything and then this guru is god in human form uh this is accepted within the indian tradition especially for those who seek enlightenment and then the guru is everything but in the west this is the this is a very very a difficult concept how can i surrender to a guru and this is impossible because here liberty and self esteem are the key concepts why would i want to surrender to anyone and let's go to jesus himself jesus himself had difficult time dealing with this in a we read the bible the new testament all the time jesus said just yeah how can how can you accomplish things and jesus or gain eternal life it is just by loving the man that god had sent uh, to the earth plane and then doing everything in his name in christianity the most important uh, figure is Christ and you give everything to Christ and then take him as your personal savior so when you accept Jesus as your personal savior then everything happens so most people have difficulty with that concept too because that is similar to the concept of surrendering to the guru but then the dynamics is the same Christianity has become the major world religions and the spokespersons of this uh, great tradition have surrendered themselves to uh, Jesus that's why everything is done in the name of Jesus it's not a high philosophy it's very simple if you just do everything in my name it will be done that's why in the name of jesus i am doing this then it's not that you do but jesus does things for you you have to somehow come to terms with it intellectually it's not resolvable you cannot resolve it can be resolved only through uh divine grace when grace comes upon you then you will be able to uh, surrender and then the way you do it is through charity work just go on feeding people hungry people then you will find that something is happening here because then god will give you that consciousness because feeding is god's work and you are doing his work and then preventing people die from thirst and hunger and that is the solution for most of our uh, material as well as spiritual problems